G'day knuckleheads, Uncle Knackers here. And as you can see, we're just about ready to hang our first sheet of plasterboard or drywall. But the first thing you need to do is to apply some Gyprock glue to those studs and then bang, there it is, our first sheet. Now you'll also notice that the boys are hanging the sheets from the top down. And the reason for that is that we're square setting this room and we want a nice tight join against the ceiling. These walls are three meters high and as a result, we need two horizontal joins. That's why the boys have put the narrow piece in the middle because it's much easier to set those joins at high height rather than have to set up a scaffold for the top join. That's a good idea boys, well done. Now it's a good idea before you put down that bottom sheet that you lay down some packers. You can just use some gyprock offcuts and the reason for that is that the sheet sits on those packers which act as an expansion joint. You take the packers out after the sheet's been installed. You then put on your dobs of glue every two to 300 millimeters, starting 300 millimeters from the top and 300 millimeters from the bottom. And you don't put any glue on the end studs. Now with the glue that the boys are using, it's this stuff here. The glue's from Gyprock and it's an acrylic stud adhesive. It's a distinctive blue in color, so you can't mistake it. And it comes in tubes like this, so you can use it in a barrel gun, like you saw the boys doing, or you can get it in a tub and just put in a paint scraper or a spatula and apply it to your stud work. It's a great product, highly recommended. As I always say, do it once, but do it right. Here come the lads, got their first sheet. Putting it on top of those packers. Packers are there to cater for any movement down the track. And away they go. So they screw the top. And the sides and the bottom. But nothing in the middle of the sheet. You put a screw in the middle. It might pop down the track. What are you making here, Jeff? A gyp rock pencil. Gyp rock pencil. Hey. Interesting. And that's for. Oh, oh mate. No top plate. No top plate, so I've got to mark where the studs are. Oh. You're a genius, Jeff. So, a bit more glue, Jeff. All go. Come the boys, with the big sheet, they'll go right across the door. And I'll cut the door out later. Beautiful fit. Well done fellas. Now we don't have a top plate on this wall mainly hidden because we actually dropped the seal by 50 millimeters which meant that the top plate didn't come into play and Nate's just cutting out that doorway with a gyp rock saw so you'll saw all the way up that stud all the way to the head of that frame you flick that sheet up when he's ready. And Jeff has snuck out the back and he's scoring the top of the sheet at door head height. Flick the sheet up, cut along the crease, and presto. There's the doorway opening. And then nail that sheet off around the stud. With only a couple of sheets to go, the place is really coming together. It's looking good. 
So those wall sheets are basically all done. And if you want to have a go yourself, go on to CSR Giprox website, which I'll leave a link to in the description box below, where you can download an installation guide that will take you through the whole process. Alrighty, the boys are about to kick off on the ceilings and the cornice work, so hopefully in a few days time, you can check back on that one. Well, I hope you enjoyed and found that video useful. And as per usual, a big thumbs up is greatly appreciated. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button for more handy tips. Alrighty, I think it's time for a cup of tea. So till next time, I'm out of here. Cheers.